Okay, welcome to this video. Today we're going to learn how to install the latest version of Cinema 4D as at today, which is the version 2025.3.3. I already have version 3.2 installed, so I'm going to override the previous installation. I also have Corona 13 here. So let's begin. I'm going to right click on the Cinema 4D and run as admin. So I'm going to say next because I want it to be on drive C. So I will say next. If I wanted a different drive, I will input the alphabet here. For example, if I wanted drive E, I will put E here and I will get rid of the C. But I want it on C, so I'm going to back the C. And I will say next. Now it's asking me that I have a previous installation, which is 2025, which is true. I have version 2025.3.2. So I'm going to say yes, so that I will continue with this installation. So I'm going to say next. So now that I've finished installing this, I'm going to launch this now. So I click on finish. So it's starting up now. You can see 2025.3.3. Cinema 4D 2025.3.3 So let me go here and check and this is it So if you go over to Corona here We have Corona 13 installed already But if you want to learn how to install it Let me show you how to install this Corona version 13 So let's begin so I'm going to right click on it and say run as admin. So here I'm going to click yes. So I'm going to click on accept end user license and accept global consumer privacy policy. I'll go to advance and I'm installing this for Cinema 4D 2025, meaning I have Cinema 4D 2025 on my PC. So I'm going to be going with this. So I say continue. And I'll say continue. And here I'm going to choose local. So for here I will choose migrate all license during installation. And I will say continue. So here I said we need to uninstall the previous version. Alright, so here I'm going to say done. So I'm going to fire up Cinema 4D now to see if we have any changes. Alright, so I'm going to go to Corona and About. And we have version 13 installed. Now, since uh, Corona doesn't come with the material library, this is how to get your assets. When you go to Corona, you come to Cosmos browser. Or before that, let's see what, what we have in material library. It says uh, the library is not installed. You want to download it now. If you say yes, then it will begin to download. But I don't want to do that now. So I cancel that. I go back to Corona. Cosmos browser. So what do we have here? We have 9,232 assets and counting. Let's just take a look at uh, what we have under furniture. So we have a lot. If I scroll down, 
now I can download any of these. Let me click on download. It's asking me to sign in. So I'm going to sign in with my email. Now signing is complete. So I go back here and look at the download. It's counting 5% and uh, that's all you need to do in order to get assets from Corona. So if you want to learn how to use Corona and Cinema 4D, kindly subscribe to this channel because I'm going to start a series. And in that series, I'm going to be using Corona materials because the native materials that comes installed with Cinema 4D is not as realistic as that of Corona. So if you want to share my experience, subscribe now and I will walk you through the whole process. That's all for this video and I will see you on the next one.